In this video, I am going to explain about SCR controlled off wave rectifier and full wave rectifier using RC triggering circuit. Before this, let us explain what is SCR and its working. SCR is a 4 layer 3 junction PN PN semiconductor switching device. It has basically 3 terminals anode, cathode, and gate. SCR consists of 4 layers P type and N type silicon conductor forming 3 junctions. J1, J2 and J3. SCR is a device which is almost similar to diode and there are several advantages of SCR over diode. That is, it can be operated at high voltage and conducts SCR can be controlled by gate. The circuit which allow the gate to control SCR are called firing or triggering circuit. The various SCR triggering methods are forward voltage triggering, thermal or temperature triggering, radiator or light triggering, DV by DT triggering, gate triggering. Most common method of turning on SCR is a gate triggering circuit. The various types of gate triggering circuits are resistance triggering, RC triggering, UJT triggering. Resistance triggering is a simplest and economically limited range firing angle that is between 0 to 90 degree. Limited range of firing angle can be controlled by RC triggering circuit. Again, RC triggering is having two types RC off wave rectifier triggering, RC full wave rectifier trigger. Figure shows the circuit diagram of half waves RC triggering circuit. This circuit includes transformer, two diodes D1 and D2, SCR that is silicon controlled rectifier, variable resistor, capacitor of 0.47 microfarad and load resistor. By varying the value of variable resistance R, the firing angle can be controlled from 0 to 180 degree. In the positive off cycle, the capacitor is charged through the variable resistance R up to the peak value of the applied voltage. Thus, the variable resistors R controls the charging time of the capacitor. Depending upon the voltage across the capacitor, when sufficient amount of gate current will flow in the circuit. The SCR starts to conduct. In the negative off cycle, the capacitor C charges up to the negative peak value through the diode. Diode D1 is used to prevent the reverse breakdown of the gate cathode junction in the negative off cycle. Connections are made as shown in the circuit diagram. Set the value of DRB at 1K. Now switch on the supply. By keeping the CRO probes across the load, waveforms are observed. Now vary the firing angle by increase the value of resistance in DRB in steps. Observe the waveforms and note down the corresponding values of Vn from CRO and V0 DC from the DC voltmeter. The readings are tabulated in the tabular column as shown. If the firing angle ranges from 0 to 90 degree, then the firing angle alpha is calculated by using formula alpha equals sine inverse of Vn by Vm in degrees. Vm value depends upon the VRMS value of the input transformer. The conduction angle beta is calculated using the formula beta equals 180 minus alpha. The current and the power is calculated by I0 DC equals V0 DC by R amperes and power output power DC equals V0 square DC by R watts respectively. A graph of V0 versus alpha, V0 versus beta and I0 versus alpha, I0 versus beta and power DC versus alpha and output power DC versus beta are to be plotted. Finally, compare the practical output voltage with the theoretical output voltage. Theoretical formula for V0 pH equals Vm by 2 pi into 1 plus cos alpha volts.